Chapter 1. Feng Shui is not a religion, but it could change your life. Many people assume that Feng Shui has some kind of religious roots, but that's not the case. It's entirely possible to practice Feng Shui and follow any religion you choose. Feng Shui is more of a way of living, a concept that allows you to create abundance in areas that may be lacking. Feng Shui is a system of placement consisting of nine guas. Guas relate to areas of your life. The ancient Chinese developed the idea of feng shui, which is a system you can follow to place specific items and elements in areas of your house to encourage the flow of energy, or qi. By consciously arranging your home in a specific way, you can welcome positive benefits into your life. In order to use feng shui, you first need a home environment to arrange. You should identify what is lacking in your life and what you want more of. Of course, you have to have positive intentions. Feng shui cannot bring negative results to anyone else. It can only benefit you, so never wish ill towards another person. There are several common terms you'll hear while learning about feng shui, but the most common one will be qi. Qi means energy, and when you change your living environment, you're allowing energy to flow more freely, therefore causing negativity and a sense of being stuck. The flow of fresh energy is important if you want to welcome changes into your life. You will also hear two other terms, gua and ba gua. Gua is a specific area of your house related to a sphere of your life. For instance, you will have a love and relationship gua and a health gua. The house as a whole, when balanced according to feng shui, is referred to as the ba gua, which loosely means order. Did you know, according to feng shui, placing a mirror somewhere in your bedroom may help you to improve the quality of your vision. Chapter 2. Learn how to cure your living space for greater abundance. Another common term you will hear when learning about feng shui is cure or cures. This basically means balance, and when you make changes to your home, example, you implement a cure, you will balance that space and encourage the positive change you're looking for. There are several categories of cures. These include light, sound, living things, animals and plants, weight, color, electrical power, symbolic objects, and the miscellaneous other section. These cures help shift energy and raise vibrations, telling the universe what you want, thus greatly enhancing your chances of manifesting the positive change you desire. The careful placement of items such as living things, colors, symbolic objects, and musical instruments will bring balance to and manifest positive change. Such placement is called a cure. By placing a specific cure in the right area of your home, you connect to another cure. For example, if you place water next to a living thing, the water nourishes the living thing. Example, a plant. This is called the cycle of creativity. However, you can also go in the opposite direction, called the cycle of destruction. In this case, no change or a negative change would occur. An example of this would be to place fire next to a photograph. The fire would set the photograph alight and destroy it, not nourish it. Careful placement of cures in the right spots in your home will help to balance the space. Allow qi to move freely and raise vibrations, giving you a greater chance of getting exactly what you want. Cures need to be placed in a cycle of creativity or nourishment. Do not place items next to one another that destroy rather than nourish. Chapter 3. Reap the benefits of increased prosperity, whatever that means to you. One word which most people want to see in their life is prosperity. This means different things to everyone, but for most, it's financial security. Example, more money. By placing the right cures in your prosperity gua, you could notice more money coming your way, expected or unexpected, or an increase in the success of your business. The prosperity gua is at the back of the house, furthest away from the front door and in the left corner. To identify left and right in terms of guas, stand with your back to the main door. A perfectly designed feng shui home would be square or rectangle. To enhance prosperity, you should use items that are purple, green, or red. Green is often referred to as the color of money, but red is a color that brings excitement and energy. Make changes to the prosperity corner of your house to attract money. This is the corner furthest back to the left of your home. Add healthy plants in this area with round leaves if at all possible. Do your best not to allow them to become diseased. Water them regularly. You should avoid allowing the area to become dusty or for anything to remain broken. If you have your toilet in this corner of the house, you may want to look into moving it, as this may be where all your money is going if you're struggling with prosperity at the moment. Of course, attracting prosperity into your life also means you need to have the right attitude and not just expect it to fall into your lap. 
By choosing the right cures, you start the process, but you also need to be positive and more aware of opportunities that come your way. You have to want a different life. That means taking responsibility for your life and getting into the mindset that you can change it yourself. Karen Rauch Carter Chapter 4 Notoriety Depends on Your Fame and Reputation Gua By consciously changing the layout of your fame and reputation area, you could encourage others to give you more respect, gain support from those around you, and learn to accept yourself just as you are. Your fame and reputation gua is next to your prosperity area, at the back of the house and in the center. It's important to realize that arranging things in this part of the house doesn't mean you're suddenly going to become famous. You would need to take action to ensure that happens. However, it may help you to build up support and respect, allowing you to become more confident and take strides towards the things you want to do in life. You also need to help things along, which means treating others how you would want to be treated yourself. Moving things in your fame and prosperity zone also allow you to gain respect and support. Make sure you nurture those connections as they grow. Avoid anything which moves in this area, including water. You should also avoid mirrors and instead place lights, fire, wood items, electricals such as a TV, and flowers or plants. As the flowers grow, the idea is that your reputation will grow alongside, but you have to look after any living things you put there, as allowing them to fall into neglect will mean that your reputation does the same. Chapter 5. Use Feng Shui to Entice More Love Into Your Life if your love life could benefit from some attention, rearranging your love and relationship area may help you to find a new love, be ready to walk down the aisle, or help to breathe life into a relationship that has been lacking recently. To encourage the flow of qi in this area, you need to pay specific attention to how items relate to one another. For instance, placing fire next to water isn't a good thing because one cancels out the other. However, placing water next to a plant is positive as the water nourishes the plant. Everything in your love and relationship gua should relate positively to one another. Example, flowers and water. The love and relationships area is at the back of the house in the far right-hand corner. This area needs to be free of anything which seems unfriendly, cold, or negative. And you should not place any type of storage here, as this builds up baggage and doesn't allow energy to flow. Avoid dust, dirt, and general messiness in the love and relationships area. Energy needs to be free-flowing to manifest love. Positive items to place in this space include fresh flowers, mirrors, candles, music that is low and sensual, and anything that denotes romance and love in your eyes. If you're trying to spice up a relationship, then you should place red items in this space for passion and perhaps some underwear too. Now, every time you look over there, you'll think loving thoughts. And since thoughts are also energy and very much related to the energy of love, when you think loving thoughts, loving things will naturally begin to happen in your life. Karen Rauch Carter Chapter 6. Get Your Life Moving by Balancing Your Creativity and Children Gua Directly beneath the space for relationships and love, on the middle right-hand side, you will find the Gua for creativity and children. This space should be arranged positively if you want to encourage a more creative mind, playful nature, and also if you're trying to conceive. Those who are looking to start a family should focus on creativity and children Gua as a priority. Again, this space needs to be a loving and clean area to enhance the flow of qi. Because this is a creative space associated with playfulness, you also need to avoid anything dark, serious, or generally foreboding in appearance. Mirrors are ideal, and if this space is your living room, hanging a mirror over your fireplace or where your chimney would be is a great way to usher in new energy and raise vibrations. However, candles need to be moved from this space. You can relocate those next door. To your love and relationships area. If you have anything causing a physical blockage in this area, it needs to be moved. For example, if you have a door that doesn't open properly, this needs to be fixed. If a cupboard drawer jams halfway, make sure you get it released and able to move freely. Avoid any furniture or doorways which do not open fully in this area. Allow energy to flow freely without blockages. In this space, look towards anything circular in shape, made of metal and colored white and yellow. If you're trying to usher in energy to help you become more playful or you're trying to conceive, decorate this space with children's toys, crafts, and candies. Try to avoid any red items in this space or anything with sharp edges. Of course, by using this area to try and boost creativity, you need to think in a more original way. Make an effort to cast away your doubts and be more playful in general. The work you do in your home will add extra power to your efforts. 
Chapter 7. Attract Assistance by Balancing Your Energies If you need a little extra help in your life, or you're about to travel and you want the journey to be smooth and without problems, paying attention to your helpful people and traveling gua is a good idea. This area is located on the right-hand side of your house, right next to your front door. At the bottom right-hand side of your house is your helpful people and travel space. Paying attention to this space in your home could help you to encourage opportunities, gain help and assistance from others, and see travel as a fun and enjoyable thing in your life. This gua is opposite the prosperity gua, and they work with one another, so pay attention to both to gain maximum effect. Make sure there are silver or gray items in this area, and trays are a good idea as they are ways of giving things to others. Example, advice. Bells and water are also useful items, as well as any symbols that denote help or religion. If you're trying to boost travel, add pictures of your favorite destinations. Silver and gray are ideal colors to place in your helpful people and travel space. Avoid anything which is broken. Make sure that everything in this space is in working order and that nothing is broken. If you have trash bins here, move them to another space. You should also look to move your toilet if it is situated here. If you have any photographs in this area, make sure they bring a smile to your face. Chapter 8. Using Feng Shui to Boost Your Career Potential Perhaps the most important gua in your whole house is the one you walk into when you enter your front door. This is the career and life path gua, and it has to be in total alignment with all the other areas to give you total balance and harmony. Paying attention to this gua can help to boost your career prospects, gain employment, and bring more money your way. From a life path point of view, this area can also help you be courageous and follow your path towards fulfillment. The area directly in front of your main door is your career and life path gua. This is vitally important and plays a part in all other guas. The front door needs to open and close freely without any sticking or blockages. There should be no storage behind the door and nothing directly in front of it. In the space around this gua, place anything metal, glass, or round in shape. Mirrors are also a good choice in this space as well as anything water-based. It's vital that you avoid any pictures in this area that remind you of anything you don't really want in your life or anything you don't want to do. So if you have a painting of Paris on your wall and you don't really want to go there, you need to change it. Linking closely to this gua is the skills and knowledge space. This is next to the front door on the left-hand side. Paying attention to this gua can help you do better in your studies and become a better decision maker. Your skills and knowledge gua is next to your main door and needs to be a light and free space. This space needs to include the color blue and be quite light and airy. If you can fit some books or symbols that denote wisdom or wise people into this space, that would be a good idea. Make sure there is no clutter in this area and that everything is kept clean and tidy. Chapter 9. Focus on the important things in life, family and health. The final two areas of your home belong to family and health. You could certainly argue that these are two of the most important areas in life and your home. The family gua is in the middle of your home, on the left-hand side. By paying more attention to this space, you can help to improve relationships with family members, create a sense of harmony within your daily setup, and even feel a lot more secure in where you are. The family gua can help to mend strained family relationships, but it can also help you to feel more grounded in your life. If you happen to have a gun or any gun-related memorabilia, do not keep it in this part of your home. Also, make sure anything that is broken is fixed quickly. Place wood furniture, plants, anything green, and water-related items in this space to bring a sense of calm and harmony and help you move energy around. The health gua is situated next to the family one, right in the center of your home. By paying attention to this space, you can improve your health and create an overall sense of balance in your life. If you have a spiral staircase in your health gua, you may need to think about renovation. This is a major drain on energy. If you have the space, ensure you have a wooden table in this area, which is ideal for balance, and place a metal item on top. Look for anything that contains earth, so plants are perfect here. Also, go for gold, yellow, and anything which contains depictions of the sun, moon, and stars. These are ideal cures to bring balance to this space. However, you should avoid anything rectangular or spiral in shape. Chapter 10. How to use Feng Shui if your house isn't a regular shape. The feng shui plan is based on a house that is perfectly square or rectangle with the front door in the middle, at the bottom side. However, although houses these days aren't always perfectly shaped, they don't have to be a barrier to using feng shui. You need to think outside the box. 
If your home is a difficult shape, it can be challenging to follow feng shui principles. A consultant can help you out. Base your feng shui plan on the square or rectangular idea. But in any areas you have missing, example, if you have an L-shaped house, you would need to add something to the area where the missing spaces would be. You can use your outdoor space to fill in the gaps, using symbolism. For instance, if the skills and knowledge corner isn't in your home because of the shape, you can place a symbol outdoors where this space should be. That could be a statue of a wise person such as Buddha as one example. Another option is to use horizontal and vertical elements to highlight your missing pieces. This could be a tree, a laundry pole, a gazebo, or a fence. Horizontally, you could use bricks or stones to highlight where the missing walls would be if your house isn't the perfect feng shui shape. If you have one or more pieces missing, when you overlay the bagua onto the home, you have a place in the home that is not supporting you. Karen Rauch Carter Conclusion Feng shui is a very misunderstood concept, but it could bring valuable benefits to your life. Being able to understand where the different gua are in your home helps you to focus on the areas in your life that need attention. Then you can use cures to allow qi to flow more freely, raising the vibrations in that area and creating positive change. Let's be honest, everyone could do with a little good luck from time to time and it's hard to figure out where that might come from. Focusing on feng shui might seem unconventional, but this is a practice that has been around for centuries. Surely that means there's something to it. It's easy to assume that something you don't fully understand simply can't work. But the world is made of mysteries, and they bring fantastic results much the same. Have a little faith. Of course, it's true that not all buildings are perfectly shaped, especially older ones. Odd-shaped homes don't have to be a barrier to feng shui. You simply need to be a little creative in your thinking, or seek help from a feng shui consultant. There is no home that cannot be fixed in the feng shui way. Attracting abundance into your life cannot happen without first believing in it. Throw any preconceived ideas out of the window and move into your feng shui journey with an open heart. When you do that, you may be very surprised at the results that come your way. Try this. Number one, think carefully about the areas of your life which need some attention. Then identify the space in your home which relates to them. Can you see where misplaced items might be causing a blockage of energy? Number two, assess the shape of your home. Do you have any areas missing? Work to replace these in other ways. A missing area will create an unbalanced house and life. Keep a journal on the changes you notice after making alterations to specific areas. Do you need to do more? Or are the changes positive enough?